I had it working for a second there, so let me see. I just checked. Uh, it works great on other stuff, so it might just be the app itself being weird. I might have been wrong. How about, uh, yeah, see when it does that, maybe that's the problem. Yeah, okay. I got an idea. We're going to deal with the sound for one second. There it is. Okay. So it was because it decided to full screen itself at some point, which I didn't tell it to do. <laughs> all right. All right. We're good now. That was me. Howdy, howdy, Night City. Welcome back. Somehow that was on me. I just know it. Also, this computer, what, what I set up yesterday, mwah, it restarts so fast again. It's beautiful. Because before, it was taking forever for restarts. And then, to like yesterday, it was taking like five minutes to restart. Like, it was bad. And then it started crashing and stuff, so. But, yeah, it, it was getting pretty bad. And then, all of a sudden, it's just working great. That was 30 seconds, and then I was tweaking some stuff. But, yeah, all right, we're back. Everything's great. It's time to stream. And it's always the song, ain't it? Just because I am sick of that song. Not even that it's like a bad song. It's just overdone in the game so far in my experience. It's been like every every other time I get into the car, at least it's that song. Why would you jump into the road? No, that, that shouldn't even be a warrant for me. He jumped into the road. That's not my fault. Name a sentry, that would be my fault. You know what I don't understand? Why are these so quiet compared to the music? crashed <laughs> I was driving a little too hard I crashed so hard I crashed the game uh... all right round two fight Send. The fuck's going on? What is happening? This last like two, three days, just nothing but issues. Like, goddamn. All right, all right. Give me a sec. Wait, no. Give me this, because I don't even have to launch it through that. No, I think it's bin. There it is. Like, I don't have to launch it that way. I just choose to. Oh, my 
god, what the hell? Let me try one more thing. Like, why can't things just work? You know, why can't Todd Howard be telling the truth when he says it just works? It does not just work. I just want to see what it does here. Oh, okay. <laughs> it just does the same friggin' thing. That's funny. All right, I gotta restart this PC now. Fun, 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 fun. Just what I love doing. All right. And back on. I'm so frustrated today. Like, this isn't that bad, though, because at least it doesn't feel like the PC's having a conniption and give me nothing but issues. Plus, I made a backup save of the modded game, so ooh, we're definitely fine in comparison. See how fast that restart is, though? Fucking SSDs are amazing. Like, I know my friends were always talking shit about, you need SSDs, you can't still be on hard drives, blah, 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 blah. All right, now I get it. All right, I get it now. <laughs> They're awesome. I've had SSDs for like three years now, and I don't want to go back. I use my hard drives for everything else. There we go. Howdy, howdy, Night City. Welcome back. My guest tonight is Lieutenant Sarah Kakowski. All right. Let's try this again. Well, that's poopy doo. This is definitely one of those songs I actually really like. What the? Why are the trash bags so strong? And now I can't drive straight to crap. Yeah, now and again, it feels like the steering gets jacked up by like you tap something like a trash bag and suddenly you can't gain control for like no actual reason. I even downloaded a mod that's supposed to help you drive a little better and it does not feel like it helped. I feel like right there that, <laughs> that shouldn't have been so extreme. I barely even tapped it. It doesn't work this time. Like this is a hard crash. So yeah. I'm also gonna try not to miss my turn this time. My name is Arabic Bob, and you're watching WNS News. I'm in my car, I'm not watching anything. The Internet Manufacturers Association recently came to a close. One of the hottest topics discussed was the ever increasing rate. Thomas Clichy was finally apprehended. Clichy has sold unrest for years, urging European governments to restore and 
think that car just spawned just before that. Like, the left looked clear. I don't know, maybe I'm just kind of getting angry or something. Oh, I noticed the dot's gone from yesterday. That wasn't even my fault. I'm about to make it. You're seriously making me look at you? Come on. Where are you? Oh, wait. Oh, you're still alive? Well, don't want no insurance claim. There. I wonder if I can kill a car by beating it up like in the street. Here. Street yeah. throwing bombs. Denting it. it counts. Nah, I guess not. All right, fine. We'll clean it up. I don't know why I thought that was going to help me. Yeah. That made you a little bit faster, so. I don't see any mines just yet. gig on the horizon. Militech detained a smuggler by the name of Bruce Welby at the border. His buddy wants him out. No it's no surprise, out. but he needs Just someone to do out. the dirty work and make sure Bruce tastes freedom once again. Specifics. Okay, I can take three. <laughs> I was kind of curious about that first one. I was like, wait, how many mines can I take? Exactly three. <laughs> I guess that's one for each foot and then one for whatever's left. <laughs> Weird that she doesn't call me until I'm like real hey, tough with dang place. New gig on the horizon. Militech detained a smuggler by the name of Bruce Welby at the border. His buddy wants him out. It's no surprise, but he needs someone to do the dirty work and make sure Bruce tastes freedom once again. Specifics attached. Do not kill any of the person. That's who I kind of look like. Oh, dude, I'm just thinking about it. 
That's why she kind of looks like... I like her look, and I couldn't figure out why. It looks kind of familiar to me. She looks like uh, Ro from um, Ghost in the Shell. Uh, the dude with the white hair. He had another name. It was after Laughing Man, but I can't remember his freaking name. I just remember his real name, or at least the military nickname. Or Lone Wolf. Weird that I still remember it all these years, to be honest. that's not giving me information today. Oh, best place to break in is probably back here. This one, okay. I thought it was aimed inward. Five cameras, jeez. A two week assignment in Mexico. And the only thing that flew would be that thing. This? This is a vacation. Sure. This would be an easy mission. I'd rather a contract like this than straight up a uh, war torn country or, <laughs> you know, whatever it might be. Test? Yeah, my pro. Wait. Put the eyes engaged! Opening fire! What's going on? Lower what? I guess I'll let him kill me. <laughs> that dude wasn't up there before, so I have no idea. Like, where the hell that guy came from? It's like he waited for me to talk to him.
rather be deployed in the combat zone. Max Tech Way by Matthias Maddox. Forward to the second edition. I was fortunate after publishing the first edition of the book to meet many people with fascinating stories. I spoke with people who lost loved ones at the hands of cyber psychosis. I met the relatives of people whom I shot. Needless to say, every conversation ended on good terms. After some time, I learned what questions to expect from my readers have you ever been shot yes and i've lost count who was the most difficult person to kill slash arrest the 2063 golden springs mall killer more titanium bone and synth skin than man what causes cyber psychosis i'll let you know when i find out then at a book signing in haywood I was asked a question I had never heard before. Is there anything that keeps me awake at night? After moments of reflection, I realized the answer was yes. Perhaps most surprisingly, however, it was not nightmares of eviscerated cy cyber psycho vi victims, nor the shrieks and cries of my squad mates as they, burnt, as they burned alive. Cruel as it may sound, I grew used to that. It was just part of the job. No. What caused my heart to pound as I lie in bed late at night is the thought that one day I too could succumb to cyber psychosis. The amount of cyberware I have incorporated into my body is substantial. Far more than most. I try to drown the human parts of me, that fear, that doubt. I am aware just how fragile my humanity is. That piece of myself deep within that makes me who I am. One poorly clipped neuron, one hormonal overdose, and that piece may disappear forever, leaving behind an automaton with only one desire, to kill. In truth, I force my mind to race so I would not have to uh, confront these thoughts. Today, I still struggle with these demons, but I have asked my uh, wife to keep a loaded pistol at her bedside table. If I begin to scream or rant incoherently in the middle of the night, I instructed her to empty the entire clip between my eyes. At first, she objected, but our love is strong. It is thanks to my loving wife's promise that I, keep, that I sleep more soundly now than ever before in my life. Fucking hardcore. Open fire! What? Let me grab you. Let's go get killed. punch him in the butt cheek and then <laughs> he fucking fell down on the way down I guess that turret filled him with like three new holes Conversation between Tyler Bennett and Zach Ellis. 
surprise, the psych we got stationed here. Hmm, excuse me. Told me I should start journaling. Want to see what I wrote? Sure, hon. Hit me. Dust, dirt, tumbleweeds. Day two, dust, dirt, tumbleweeds. Day 34, dust, dirt, tumbleweeds. That's supposed to fucking help? For real, starting to wonder who's the prisoner here. Me or them? Just be patient. Only a couple of weeks left. Don't think I can take it. Better try. Come on. You know you got someone waiting for you back home. Aww. Body up in there. I love getting stuck on things. <laughs> I didn't realize this could work. Damn, dude, you are durable. I mean, yeah, I'm getting hit through you, but still. Alright, good to know. I, I really wanted to science that one. So I was like, I don't know how well this will work. I'm taking fire! I'm under attack! I'm taking fire! Now we shall come and go. What in the one second? Some dude downstairs, like a hundred feet away, saw me. Well, it doesn't seem like it actually. Somewhere to shove his body up here. Oh, yeah, here it is. You, Bruce? Is this a test? Yeah, my pro. Wait. You're not Militech. Easy, Choom. Archie sent me. Archie? Archie Crane? The very same. But don't go jumping for joy. Gotta get out of here. Archie knew who to send. Sat here long enough. Let's shake that rust off. Don't have to tell me twice. Go out the back way, there's only one guy guarding this. But just in case, I'll pop this guard too. Oh, shit. That was pretty close. Suspicion. <laughs> Oh, it's him. 
Oh, that scared the crap out of me. I was like, what was that? Someone skittering around that, you know. God damn. Oh wait, this way we can discover the body. Yeah, we can just drop him right here, I guess. He'll be long gone before he arrives. What? But I'm supposed to go there. Oh, okay. Fuck. Brucey baby! We're starting to think we'd never get you out of that dump. Archie, you piece of shit. What? It's because of people like you that camp even exists. I saw you behind the wheel. How much they paying you, huh? Enough for me to buy your ticket out of here. You can thank me later. Right now, we gotta get moving. Oh, and V! If you ever plan on quitting Night City, careful around the borders. Accidents have a way of turning fatal. Yeah, no shit. Thanks, buddy. <clears throat> Do I get a bonus for not killing any of them? I said no unnecessary bloodshed. Did you forget? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Who'd I kill? I want to be a professional, so we'll go back. Let me just see. Like three saves ago, did I kill anybody? Seriously, who did I kill? I guess I'm just supposed to literally sneak and not choke anyone even? Well, that's stupid. Am I supposed to do gas people to death? Like, yeah, it already says it. So that's three, let's try four. I don't think I choked anyone by then. I guess if I, like, super sprint around and sneaky sneak my way through, I could be fine. Especially now that I know that he catches up no matter how you go about. Which is kind of cool. I dig that. Still says it. Four, five. So, it's kind of like when I went through Deus Ex and I did the non-lethals play through on the hardest difficulty all the way through just to find out that there was some technicality about something I did earlier in the game that automatically already uh, made it so that it was unnecessary. Like, I'd, I did something that would basically cause the bullshit to say that I, I killed people. And so it didn't give me the achievement at the end. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, that was one of the hardest non-lethal playthroughs I have ever done in my life. Oh yeah, let's real quick, I'm gonna quickly 
save. I do want to see. Non lethal takedown. Oh, we're still good. So, who did I kill then? Maybe it's because I put them into meat lockers or something. Yeah, let me try that for science. There it is. Okay, so that counts as dead. Oh, that's so dumb. Okay, now I know. Personally, I guess they would run out of oxygen after a while, but you figured they'd wake up before they run out of oxygen. Like, if you choke someone out, realistically, it's only going to last like 15 minutes. It's not like video games where it's like an hour or movies. Looks like he's just standing here. Like, yeah, how you doing? Weak in the Bernie style. I can't believe we have to rot in the asshole of nowhere. You'd rather be deployed to the combat zone? Maybe. At least mine would actually flow. I do a assignment in Mexico and the only thing that's good. You, Bruce? Is this a test? Yeah, my pro. Wait. You're not Militech. Easy, Choom. Archie sent me. Archie? Archie Crane? Very same. But don't go jumping for joy. Gotta get out of here. Archie, what is that? It's not letting me duck. I knew that motherfucker would come out of nowhere. We're going this way. <laughs> Take that. It's the last time Thailand's out. So it wasn't that guy, it's some other guy. Sat here long enough. Let's shake that rust off. I'm under attack. Don't tell me twice. Suspicious activity. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I guess we'll lose it. What? What? Oh, wait. I think we're good. I think that's the other side of their range. Okay. Fuck. I fully thought they saw me. They just almost shot me, though. <laughs> Same path as before, then. Stronger than the rock. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> 
Lucy, baby, we're starting to think we'd never get you out of that dump. Archie, you piece of shit. What? It's because of people like you, the camp even exists. I saw you behind the wheel. How much they paying you, huh? Enough for me to buy your ticket out of here. You can thank me later. Right now, we gotta get moving. Oh, and V, if you ever plan on quitting Night City, careful around the borders. Accidents have a way of turning fatal. Yeah, that means I could have went through the whole game trying to do a non-lethal playthrough and would have gotten chipped for all the ninjutsu type stuff where I was shoving people in lockers. V, I appreciate you handling things as cleanly as you did, and exactly as agreed. Bruce was freed and escorted back to Archibald. And the fact that you did it without unnecessary bloodshed isn't lost on me. The payment should be parked in your account by now. Contract closed. So yeah, if you ever do a non-lethal playthrough, folks, remember to uh, don't put people in fridges and stuff. It somehow kills them. Zero sense. Drive like uh, Doc from Cars One. Seriously, again? All right, we're on ritual though. Really, I had to get out to get that bonus. And neutralize yeah. perp security. Hold up. That's not why we shook on. No, you can't just. You just listen to me for one second. Someone who's got no time for your bullshit. Wow. 
break. <laughs> Desire. I'm going to use my rifle often enough. Oh yeah, wait, I need throwing knives. I think that's a ninjutsu. Okay. Almost maxed on my ninjutsu. <laughs> Finally, give me a reason to have knives. Actually, let me see if this account is. It counts as a weapon, so, like, if I were to swap this to a knife. 669, 757. Alright, so we'll say we use this one. Archive conversation between Arnold and Susan. Bullshit. Gonk's a coward. Our numbers. Our numbers, guy. No way he screwed us over. Well, he did. Who told you? Got a friend with the tigers. Remember when we sold them that iron? That time Mikey almost bit, uh, bit the dust carrying them over? Yeah. Well, Mr. Math charged the tigers an extra 5%, but didn't tell us about it. That greedy little shit. I'll talk to him. But don't tell anyone else. We'll get the Eddies off him. They're here for this guy specifically and not the uh, whole place. some weak slashes man like that's good that's good yeah those two jabs great but these are like you're just kind of slicing at their arm or something or you're like putting it on their flesh and yanking which is all stupid always go for sticks sticks over slashes they bleed better
I like the idea of throwing knives, but I don't really use my rifle. I don't know. We'll stick with it for now. <sighs> oh, do I thought it was farther down the road. Yeah, I've seen videos of people throwing multiple knives, so I wonder how they do that. Like they use the sand devil stand, throw knife, throw knife, throw knife, throw knife, throw knife, and then do like uh, as soon as the sand devil stand drops, it like kicks the crap out of them. It's awesome. So as soon as I did that, it fucked up. That's so dumb. <laughs> and I know my game's super stable because it's like four mods on the damn thing. The rest is all clothes. It's maybe five mods, actually. I forgot. I counted. It was under ten. Know that much. With things like the night vision, I took off the flashlight mod. Howdy, howdy, Night City. Welcome back. My guest tonight is Lieutenant Serica. I do like that the poison blade is like a little too good and you can see it. it's holding the poison. So used to playing War Thunder, I'd just try to use cruise control so I can itch my nose. Why would you jump into the road? Like when I'm clearly driving the right direction. I want to start something you about risk it. everything. Stay down. Punk ass. Dude's just like, let me start some shit. Yeah, no one else starting shit. So clearly he was in the wrong. Got any loot? Get lucky. Alright, let's see. Damn. Every time I finish one, it makes me go to the opposite direction. But that means there can only be like. I don't know. Two more at this point. I've literally done everything. It's cool that you're able to do this many side quests and stuff after you do the Dexter stuff right at the beginning. Like, I actually really appreciate how open world this feels. Like, yeah, I was supposed to be Takeda like, what, nine days ago, ten days ago, probably more. But fuck that. <laughs> I wanted a cat. <laughs> or in this case, you know, other things. Like I wanted a Genjiro. I wanted to 
get rid of. Whoa. That was weird. I wanted to get rid of um, Skippy. <laughs> Stuff like that. Really? I'm holding right. I just saw this as a perfect opportunity to do some donuts. And the game's like, he doesn't want to do donuts. And yeah, it actually corrected my steering, which is really weird. It actually might be the mod trying to assist you. Be like that. I'm just tapping the left and right. And it's just going to the extreme to fuck you up. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out what smooth driving does because it does feel like it helped, but at the same time, it could just be placebo. Nothing wrong with my game. That's habit. I'm sorry. Could load the backup. See if that somehow stabilizes it a little better. But again, I think Howdy, howdy, Night City. Welcome back. That's My cyberpunk. That's uh, fucked up. It's not even the mods. Because there's no mods Welcome that would fuck it up this bad. Uh, hello, Ziggy. <laughs> Thanks for having me. I hope you made it to the studio without any issues. No carjackings or drive-bys along the way? <laughs> no, no. Uh, fortunately, the streets of Night City are getting safer every day. We've seen... Okay. Maybe it's the, the uh, skipping thing, so maybe I'll just not press anything right when it starts. Cause it's supposed to skip all the splash screens at the beginning because I hate it. You're supposed to speed it up, but that shouldn't really make your game crash, especially after you're already in. It'll let it load its thing. Okay, we're looking good. Howdy, howdy, Night City. Welcome back. My guest tonight is Maybe it's this to save. Maybe I should move back a couple saves. Hi there. Welcome to the show. Uh, hello, Ziggy. Thanks for having me. I hope you made it to the studio without any issues. Like, it is no loading up there, so... Or yeah, drive -bys see what along happens. The way. <laughs> no, no. Uh, fortunately, the streets of Night City are getting safer every day. We've seen recorded homicides drop from 7,103 a year ago to just... Uh, hold on, hold on. The streets are safe, you say, but what about the highways? <laughs> I'm sorry. You heard about the shooting off the Route 1 exit, I trust. Half an hour before any response team arrived on the scene. Over 700 rounds fired in that time. What happened? Where are the gunmen now? Well, the NCPD is responsible for the safety and security of all citizens within city limits. Sarah, Sarah, but, uh, sweetheart, Route don't one, feed us some uh, NCPD script. Be not. honest with our viewers. All right, yeah, let me when try loading a different save. When will they finally be safe? When will they no longer need to...
Entering text. All right. That should have been long enough, though, of a pause for it. And then we'll go back, like, you know, two saves. Howdy, howdy, Night City. Welcome back. My guest tonight is Lieutenant Sarah Kukowski, section. spokeswoman for the NCPD. See, photo is just fine right there. Just in case if it's a knife somehow. I'm going to swap over to the rifle. That thing is always jolly and dandy with the rifle. Now we're going to take it a completely different way. Let's see how this goes. Nice. We got a little cactus friend. Really? Really? What the hell's that cactus made of? That's why you don't drop nukes in random places. Some things get weaker, some things get way stronger. And then I'm gonna fast travel out of this area. Because it might be the whole area. There. Now you can't hurt me, Mr. I Crash. <laughs> Till later on. <laughs> Eventually. There's gonna be one quest right in the spot where it caused the crash. Crafting spec for grenades, finally. See what you got. Got any golds? You do have some golds. Just want one of every gold. Got that. So he's not even selling that. Oh, finally. Well, something, anyways. Take that. I am tired of burning. Why can't I find better versions of what I already have? I want I want purple or gold ones. Just cause the flex. <laughs> Increase attack speed by ten percent. Increase the stamina. <sighs> Any better Kiroshis? So I haven't seen anyone with golds.
I feel like it'll actually drive better backwards. I like that you can see me just bouncing. new mobile radar unit on the border? Well, it's bad for smuggling, bad for the other Caldos, and definitely bad for me. Uh-huh. I see a dude in the middle. I want to know what makes it tick. But I need to get my hands on it first. Snatch me that radar, and I will make sure you're well compensated. Details attached. Here, Auntie. Whatever you need. That no matter what I'm wearing, gear wise, and uh, all my perks, I get one tap. To be honest with you. Well, not one tap, but it feels damn near. Why? <laughs> Why would that be there? new mobile radar unit on the border? Well, it's bad for smuggling, bad for the avocados, and definitely bad for me. I want to know what makes it tick, but I need to get my hands on it first. If I just blew up the truck, it would kill all of them. Snatch me that radar, and I will make sure you're well compensated. Details attached.
Uh-huh. No need to explain, That's sir. A lot of yes, I fully understand. I'll take care of it personally. Affirmative. Hey. <laughs> and the door opening. Uh huh. All right, let me try that knife now. Let's see if it works a little better. No, I haven't heard anything. We lost contact with him a few days ago. We don't plan to. Uh huh. Understood. I'll inform his family. So many people just grouped up. Oh, that's right. I forgot that causes everything to get aggressive. Open it fire! I'll blow you to pieces! Oh. Okay, so note to sell, knives kind of suck. I do want to try it again real quick, just to see what the damage is. Like, it is pathetic. It should be actually doing some good damage. So. Inconsistent readings! See, like it did no damage. Yeah. Confirmed. Okay, yeah. Throwing knives are crap. I kind of want to get that point back that I wasted on it. They're probably great if you have, like, max level knives or something to throw. But that's not me. Just uh -huh. uh, 
big five employers in Night City. It's that time of the year again. We present our list of the biggest and best corps to work for in Night City. Who offers paid vacation? Who pays for employees' trauma team insurance policies? Who provides discounts for daycare and child bodyguard services? Have you, or sorry, have a look at our rankings below. Arisaka, coming in again, this year's number one spot. The Japanese Zaibatsu ju yeah, Juggernaut employees, sorry, employees can expect to be fit with the latest cyberware technology with a loyalty obligation of only 20 years. Militech, the American arms giant provides its employees with up to 50% discounts on all Militech weapons. With a deal that good, you'd be able to put Mark 31 heavy machine gun under the Christmas tree for everyone in the family. Three, Biotechnica. Our 2077 bronze medal goes to Biotechnica, who offers up to six, yes, six paid vacation days per year. Four, Kang Tao. China's largest tech and arms manufacturer treats its employees to a gold membership with Trauma Team. Never spend a single minute of your 50 year loyalty pledge worrying about paying for health coverage. Damn, 50 years. Yeah, what if you don't last 50 years? Skill issues. Man, they're throwing knives. They ain't that strong. It's like throwing toothpicks at people. <laughs> I have no idea how I'd have to level that up. Probably with like blades. It's kind of horseshit, though. Um, Night Corp. While this hometown product can't compete with the biggest internal international players in terms of budget or ambition, they certainly know how to spoil their staff. Night Corp snuck into our big five after a recent announcement to reduce the mandatory work week to just 80 hours. They are a must apply for all you family focused folks out there. 80 hours. Oh my god, that means 14 hour days a week. Ugh. Or maybe you work. I'm trying to think how you can split that. So 11 hour a day, 7 days a week would get you that. I mean, I guess that could be kind of okay, but still, I worked 12 hours just back in the day. It was not fun. Anybody who says that's like that good shit, they don't. They deserve to get punched in the face. They like suffering. They're probably a fucking masochist. Like, they straight want their partner to spit in their fucking We don't plan to... Uh-huh. I'll inform his family. Suspicion. Love our snipper riffles. Right, where are we doing this? Yeah, hi Panda. How's it going? <laughs> I've missed your face. Hey. Hi. I have a feeling the thing that we're looking for is right there. So. All right, we could go this way. No need to explain, shit. sir. Yes, I fully understand. I'll... Who the hell was that? Shit. the walls and through the vehicle that's not cheater that's not fair <laughs> great i had to kill two cockroaches in my kitchen for my birthday so yay pest wait is today your birthday oh god what day is this so i can start marking it on my calendar every year july 13th 
making it a calendar thingy. Wait, how do, how do I do that? <laughs> oh, here we go. Yesterday. Fuck. All right. All right. Making it a thing, because I, I realized I never remember anybody's birthday. Because I'm a horrible human being. There. Now you're marked. Happy late birthday, because I missed it yesterday. Or, I mean, you were busy, so it's not like you would have been here. But still, yeah, happy happy birthday. I'm sorry. That sucks that you had to kill some roaches. But the only good bug is a dead bug. So, good job. And belated womb liberation. <laughs> womb Independence Day. <laughs> no, I haven't heard anything. All right, all right, all right. We lost contact with him a few days ago. We don't plan to... Uh-huh. Understood. What's the camera I'll inform his family. It's like the ground. Oh, there it goes. Now it's working. Mm -hmm. Alright, we should be good. Oh. Huh? No! <laughs> I don't want the animation! Inside the van. I don't feel like that's fair that they're inside the van. Like, uh -huh. it's a solid no object, explain, but you're sir. walking right through it like a little Yes, cheater. I fully understand. Alright, so I'll just wait a minute. I'll, I'll, I'll wait take care of it personally. Right. I do want to kill everyone in here for the XP, though, because I'm a horrible human being. <laughs> yeah. I'm terrible. Uh huh. Alright, it should be about long enough. Time's up. Leroy. Oh, Stop that gay's head directly into it. They need grenade launchers in this game. Like, I know there's the arm launcher, but that was pathetic when I used it. Like, it was supposed to be so good, but damage wise, it was like, I don't know, kind of no, hurting people, but it wasn't. We lost contact with him a few days ago. <sighs> like, it was depressing. At level like five or whatever I was, I, I should have been like rocking. We don't plan to. That thing. It's literally an uh -huh. RPG. Understood. I'll inform his family. Uh. Alright, let me mark all these fools. Hey. Alright. I just want to try this real quick. I can craft now some grenades. Some lovely Granadas. How much damage? Alright, so I can do like 20 of those. Can I upgrade the grenades now? 
No. Boo! These ones do 2851. These are the ones I just crafted. They do 2851. Are you kidding me? They do the same amount of damage. Four meter blast and sticky. Regular. Wait. Hand grenade with conventional explosive filler. Hand grenade with a conventional explosive filler. So yeah, there's nothing special. That's crap's lame. Anyways. Let's start the destruction. I am taking fire! Sandy's last a little extra long. Open it fire! I know it's one of these buttons. Dude just was like, I'm done. I think it turned to nothingness. Poofed out of existence. Terminators, they could, they could rule the world. In though in other universes, they call me John Connor. <laughs> Funny if you could actually play this John Connor kind of. Man, I like the Bionic Very Bridge fast. so much faster. The reciprocating barrels kind of.
realize you're still alive, buddy. I wish I can cancel the Sandy whenever I want it. I also wish I can grab people while hey, it's going it. and it stays active instead of what's going on. Game's up, terrorist. Just cut your losses already. Made me think that she was someone important. I didn't play like that. Error codes, cooling fan malfunction. Da, 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 da. Okay, so all useful things. Pathology of the Badlands. Have you ever dreamed of leaving the city for a life on the road? Has your child ever told you they dream of becoming a nomad adventurer? Mistake. The romanticization of these brave highway pirates is as common as it is harmful. These drifters are not as mysterious or noble as you might think. No. In fact, they are no different from any criminal organization. Although even organization may be a stretch. These wandering bands are no more than chaotic jumbles of trigger-happy anarchists roaming just outside the margins of civilization, descended primarily from the largely extinct agrarian society of the Californians, sorry, Californias and beyond, these outsiders have rejected the amenities of moderni modern, modernity ugh, and chosen instead a path of bloody revolt. They make rusted trucks and trailers their homes, denying themselves the basic necessities of running water and SCSMs. All of this squalor by choice. And this, is this yet proof enough of their insanity? Of course, they do manage to scrape together just enough to survive. How, you ask? Without factories, hotels, restaurants, and bars? They attack us. The transports of, of weapons and food destined for our businesses and dinner tables. As if not shamed enough already, the smugly psychoact yeah, psychoactive drugs. Sorry, I read that wrong. That's why. <laughs> okay. They smuggle psychoactive drugs across our borders, even known murderers and rapists. It's true. And even they themselves are known to whore themselves out for contract killings. The bloodiest and the most brutal uh, that no one else would dare accept. You might think these self-proclaimed rebels, these fighters for a cause, would have some semblance of camaraderie. Nothing could be further from the truth. These scattered gangs and vagabonds and drifters are divided into dozens of, if not hundreds, of smaller subgroups who are at each other's throats more often than not. One day they unify to hijack a textile transport, the next they murder each other in cold blood as they sleep. Even their children join in on the bloodbath. While our kids receive games and toys for their birthdays, theirs are given rifles and rusty blades. But don't blame the children. Blame the parents for depriving them of a happy and fulfilling future. And for what? Some illusion of freedom? Obscured by the shroud of, of resentment and envy? Each of them has the potential to become a future technician, net watch agent, or even CEO. But instead, they'll die alone in the desert buried under the sand all for a couple of eddies or pouch of drugs 
Still have romantic dreams about the Badlands? I didn't think so. Yeah, what a loser. <laughs> A loser. Alright, so this is where I have to turn all this crap off. Hmm. Oh, I guess I already killed them. Urgent. Please replace the filters on the mobile radar unit. The vehicle is located in the garage at the back of the building complex. Any delay in carrying out orders will be strictly punished. Field report number one. As per orders, we conducted field tests of the Poindres or Poindre, something like that. Some dumbass name, mobile radar. <laughs> Detection of nomad activity registered 43% higher compared to previous technology we've deployed using uh, the radar we were able to detect unauthorized vehicles at a 90% success rate under favorable weather conditions unfortunately the system's effectiveness drops drastically during sandstorms and solar storms nevertheless even in these prototype phase or even in its prototype phase the potential of the radar in the war against smuggling is substantial. Report number two. Over the past month, we've neutralized 17 smuggling vehicles and destroyed 23... Ugh. Oh, God. 23 in clashes with smugglers. Among the goods secured, should uh, some should be considered high value. The cloaking technology used by some of the vehicles has been sent to HQ for analysis. Within that same month, two Militech contractors were killed, Private Miles and Private Lunenberg. They died after their vehicle detonated an anti-tank mine. The bodies have already been delivered to their families. Poor little guys. Damn, for an officer, you stayed in a really shitty place. It's kind of funny that they preemptively, like, flip the mattress. That's some CIA level shit. Anyways, let's make sure you're dead. I hate barbed wire in this game. God, it's so annoying. You barely tap it, you just like fall. Please replace filters. Okay, same thing. Alright, that was fun. Okay. 
guys didn't expect the not expect suspect <laughs> they didn't suspect a thing they have a GPS on this thing so it's kind of stupid for us to be doing this Fantastic job, B. Beautiful, really. My people are already tinkering with the radar. Militech is in for a little surprise. A job well done. Your payment is coming in hot. What is next? Oh good, we're finally back in the city. Fuck the Badlands. Just beat on the brat, beat on the brat. Real gigs and whatever that is. This was the last contract. Let's see what they look like. I'm so sorry. I didn't even tell it to jump. I just randomly leaped. Is that something about this weapon or something? That goes perfectly balanced, allowing to jump the enemy and attack them with full force. Its incredible sharpness increases bleed chance. Spent most of the time collecting dust and on Wakako's desk, except for the occasional heated negotiations. Hmm. <sighs> <laughs> I finally found one of them. Yes. It looks so good. I don't remember if this is... I think this is one of the Witcher swords. That is the strongest sword, yeah? Ah, uh, that's awesome. Okay. Wait, is that the one I have equipped? Take this shit off. All right. 
Well, then I guess it'll all get broken down together equally. can get broken down. Like, what gun is that? Kind of looks like the one from uh, Total Recall or something. Or not Total Recall. Um, oh, why am I forgetting the name of that movie? One with the replicants. Blade Runner. Duh. I have no idea why that name slipped my mind. But yeah, uh, kind of looks like the pistol from Blade Runner. Look at it. <laughs> That's so cool. Now Siri is actually Siri. Oh yeah, I forgot to read that message. last contract you'll see from me v thank you for everything i'm glad our paths crossed and i hope they will again someday i have a parting gift for you it's already waiting for you in the garage take good care of her and think of me when you get behind the wheel oh, okay cool it's a car Finally have a good off-road vehicle. <laughs> of turning suddenly. Gotta love it. <laughs> I like double chip the map and the road and like okay. This GPS is probably one of the worst ones I've ever had to deal with in the game. Plus it doesn't zoom out or anything as you go faster, so it's really obnoxious. Fuck.
It's been two hours and there's been like 10 crashes where we maybe had what two crashes for like 15 streams. And this is like the first day where it's been like every like every other restart <laughs> or whatever it is. Like, come on. Just fast travel to the area for now. Howdy, howdy, Night City. Maybe it's that I'm going too fast. It's not able to load ahead of me for some reason. I'm actually thinking maybe I was driving too fast first time too. Yeah, but it's like four mods. It's things like my eyes can do this. Like, <laughs> I think in total it's like nine. No, it's less than ten. Ten real mods. The rest all clothing packs, and that shouldn't affect the game. Not in this way. So that's why I'm like, I'm kind of upset because it's like, how unstable is your game, CD Projekt Red? We can't even handle like, you know, eight mods. Because <laughs> one of them is to, uh, it automatically deletes all the other shards from the world. If you read it once, you don't have to pick it up again. Um, and then one of the other ones is the eyes. Here, actually, I have to list some of them. I'll pull over for this. Like, because I, I wanted to keep a list just in case, and I might upload it to the bot just in case anyone ever asks the mod factor. It might be the mods. It might be the mods. <laughs> You're probably right. Alright, so... Real mods that I have. The online shop thing. So that's not including the clothes. Um, that also includes this function where I can wear whatever, but I can also have this version of the wardrobe that looks nice and actually useful. Um, the reshade so I can make my cyberpunk look like this, you know, it looks like that instead of like vanilla where it looks gross and green. Um, immersive first person. And then three things for my body. So the way my body looks, her scar on her face and her hair. Those are all uh, mods. And then there's like two more for her body to look the way it is. And then that's it. Just a vignette, vignette remover. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Oh, Genshin Impact. Uh... Um, font so I can actually read shit because when we first downloaded the game I couldn't read anything for shit and that's it so that's what seven mods <laughs> not even hardcore mods it's not Skyrim level of like breaking shit and all this other stuff it's literally mostly just clothing so there's a variety of clothes that can be dropped or worn plus my Siri character looks cool Actually, I wonder what she looks like without the body armor real quick. Not as intimidating. Oh, and I don't know if everyone saw yesterday, but the Finnish um, Fight Club outfit is hot pants, ripped ass t-shirt, gloves and boots. I want a little choker, just to add some flavor. And then for everyday ass kicking. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like a fucking unit. All it takes one bad line. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Like, I'm not even really saying you're wrong. I'm just... I From years and years of modding games that are actually, like, somewhat more stable, I'm surprised that seven or whatever mods broke the game. <laughs> If it's a mod. I'm kind of assuming I was just driving too fast and the game's just having trouble with that since the last update. So if I just drive like this, maybe it'll look better. Alright, Ritual kind of sucks. It's giving me a headache. 
like there's certain screamo I can deal with, and certain ones I can't. The ones that are just like noise, I can't deal with. Like I prefer growling if I'm gonna hear that kind of crap. An actual screamo. in your area. Yeah, but it doesn't work for me. You've seen me speed and the cars are still there. Why am I getting shot at? Real quick, I need another zoo. Oh shit. <laughs> but yeah, they don't despawn. I still at 200 miles an hour, whatever that speed is. I'm still running into traffic and I'm like, this is bullshit. I want to drive like everybody else. Everybody says traffic despawns. What the fuck? Try the new sword out. the ledge, Laura Croft. Come on, Laura. Flank. I got you. Oh, okay. You think you're smart, huh? Extremist. Idea why these people attack me. I but need cover. I solved it. There's another. Miller. <laughs> what an epic finish. Cut their ankles? Oh yeah, can I cut their ankles? Like when I'm sliding? That's kind of what I was going for when I did the slide and the quick dash. Oh, when you swing it, automatically puts you in the thing instead of blocking like I did. I was like this, and then I tap that, and then I don't know. I guess just swinging while sliding lets you do it, which is cool. Seriously, who the fuck are these people? Why was I being assaulted? 
Why are there so many blades here? <laughs> You one of the Militech boys. I'll cut your dicks off. <laughs> yeah, let's see. What else is there? I could have had this that whole time. Lucky. I'm glad I just broke down all the guns I had. Here's someone still alive. Call to end illegal strike. Dear Mr. Alito, we will not be ending the strike. We ask you to pass on our demand that Michael Caddick pay all remunerations due to his workers. Sincerely, Jacob Taylor. Dear employees, your boss, Michael, is now working with Militech and has requested the corporation's assistance in resolving the situation. Thus, pursuant to Article 189 of Directive 2045-3, Night City, Michael Caddick's factory is now the temporary property of Militech International Armaments, effective immediately. The factory and adjacent property fall under Militech jurisdiction and shall remain so until the crisis is resolved to the satisfaction of all parties. With regards to the above, we would like to inform you the following. No union organization may announce a strike before the conclusion of the negotiation stage with Militech, i.e. the current strike shall be considered illegal. Any cost to the employer that may arise from illegal strike activity shall be borne by the striking party. Any employees of Michael Caddick's company refusing to end the strike will be considered terrorists and shall be treated accordingly. Sincerely, Martin Alito, Crisis Management Specialist. Now, why was I attacked, though? Call off this illegal strike. We hereby order you to call off this illegal strike. Your boss, Michael Caddick, has engaged the cooperation of Miltech to aid in resolving this. Um... Or was I? Sorry, I, I was just double checked that I didn't reread the same thing. And resolving it, pass under ownership of Militech until the situation places. This is kind of the same thing. Trade organizations cannot call for industrial action prior to the commencement of negotiations with Militech. Ergo, the current strike is illegal. We remind you that the cost of pursuing illegal industrial action will fall on the strikers themselves. The employees of Michael Caddick's company who participate in illegal industrial action will be classified as terrorists by Militech and therefore will bear the consequence of being treated as such. Sincerely, Martin Alito, Crisis Resolution Expert. Dear Mr. Alito, we have no intention of calling off the strike. We request that you act as a mediator in this situation and urge Mr. Caddick to pay his employees what he owes them. Sincerely, Jacob Taylor. And then they all got shot. All right. Archive conversation between military, Militech officer and Martin. Reporting status. Strikers not responding to orders. Give them a final warning. Done. No response. Workers continue block factory entrance. Request permission to open fire. Permission granted. Fire at will. Imagine getting orders to fire from someone like a uh, random guy. Random uh, corporate overlord. You know, CEO type. Alright. And that's for shooting my car.
Why? I mean, I figured, but damn. Let's see if I can cut some ankles, though, like you were saying. That does sound exciting. I really want to know why they're all out there, though. Like, what are they doing? Guard. Attack. Some kind of weird like stand on. Thank you. Now we're all chill because I'm not driving through the middle. Huh? Oh wait. your ankles off ain't very useful yet not until i'm stronger i guess <laughs> and oh so that's one of the mods i forgot to add is that it puts in the uh, witcher swords so there's like uh i don't know 14 or something sword replacers for the katanas i said they turn into things like these what the fuck's going on i don't know what is going on Hurry up! Hurry up! Cover me! I thought it was gonna take so damn long. Kill or be killed! That's everybody now. That didn't have to happen. That's all I'm saying. They could just not been dicks. I'm really wondering what the situation with this was, though. I 
I feel like there's no reason that I had to go and kill everybody. Oh yeah, I'm immune to fire now, so this actually really works. Haha, <laughs> that's great. You got extra crap. I probably picked it up. That's a fluffy ass jacket. <laughs> Successful time dealing with the cops. Not the real cops. Contractors. <laughs> I still love that line that Delworth, uh, not Delworth, uh, Del did early in the game, where he went, uh, beep, beep, motherfucker, <laughs> that kicked off that whole quest of, uh, helping him out. I love that shit. <laughs> can't steal Dex it's Sean's money. Whatever he had, I would have liked to have. I think I'm just going to bash travel there this time. Because every time we try to go there from different directions, it just keeps crashing. So it's not speed related. Unless I was driving real fast right at the end there. I don't know. I have no idea what my speed was. But we're just going to assume that the game's just fuckered. So I'm going to try to find a fast travel point near the spawn. Howdy, howdy, Night City. Welcome back. My guest tonight is Lieutenant Sarah Kokoski, <sighs> spokeswoman for the NCPD. Hi there. Welcome to the show. Uh, hello, Ziggy. Okay. What do we have? Absolutely. 
Much as I don't like fast traveling, this might be a game where I might have to do it a little bit now and again. Just because things being butt cheeks like driving. <laughs> like, why isn't there something so I can get a mod to, or something to be like, Dell, drive me. I was wondering if it's gonna be a truck. I guess it is. Funny ass looking truck, but it probably runs in the desert better than the other ones I've been getting. Alright. Let's see what this is and then we'll go down to this one. to the World Report on N54 News. The Western corporate states recently announced a new visa program. Persons intending to relocate there must first find a sponsor from among WCS-affiliated companies. You don't want to fuck with me! Brakes are like non existent on this thing. Like, I wasn't having these issues the other day. All right, let me try something real quick. I'm gonna kick it over to the studio. Make sure that the cloud saves are good. <sighs> fun, fun, so fun. Gotta love it. It's the greatest. <laughs> I've had no issues forever, and now I'm having all the issues. <laughs> Alright, it's updating the cloud saves. Up to date. Okay, cool. basically like re-downloading the game but fast because I'm downloading it for myself so 25 seconds <laughs> gotta love that speed
kick it back to me. I should run a little cleaner because probably, I don't know, maybe. Or it could be something in the save specifically is fucked. Night City, welcome back. My guest tonight is Lieutenant Sarah Kokoski, spokeswoman for the NCPD. What if it's something like how many things I hit actually makes the the data start making junk files or something. Like, I've seen stuff like that in games where uh, there's a glitch in certain games that have uh, debris. And the more debris you run into over like hours of gaming, the worse it gets. And the file just gets bigger and bigger until it's like basically a memory leak. And instead of deleting itself like it should, it just goes crazy. Where are you trying to go, buddy? Just hit him in the face of the door. What's up, bro? Why don't you get out of the way? Fucking hell! Yeah, all three of you are in the way. It's not my fault. Man, everything looks so tasty here. Like, one of the reasons I want to go to Japan is just that thing looks so tasty. Um, Johnny? Pretty sure they turned your great spot into a slurp shop. Mindless fucking consumerism wins the day again. Point for the other team. Huh. Huh. This is why you don't bring back fallen warriors. Sooner or later, they're gonna see everything they fought for is turned to shit. Maybe you are in Yep. Alright, well, let me walk in. What happened to the Rainbow Cadenza? Hey. Rainbow Cadenza mean anything to you? Oh, no. Another one. Aren't you too young for this? To what now? Every day, some sad grandpa in his old leather comes in here, asks where is his old Rainbow Club. And I'm like a broken record. Tell all of them the corp brought them out 20 years ago. I should put up a sign. Look for some samurai tea. You know anything about bootlegs from the Rainbow Cadenza days? Like, say, don't know, samurai stuff? Samurai. Samurai. Oh, that ugly red face on black? Yeah, even I know that one. <laughs> Old guy comes by here sometimes wearing their shirt. Spends the whole time yakking with his psycho fan friends. Wouldn't happen to know where I could find him? You can find him living back in the 2020s. <laughs> but besides that, he's out there at the market. Does his shop in there? What? You mean and he does his shopping there? I mean, you can do yours at his spot, assuming you'd even want to. He sells ancient, dusty tapes of ancient, dusty indie bands. No one's heard of a single one of them. Prem, thanks. Oh, okay. Hey. Been, nice Been in Night City long now? Long enough to know I should not answer seemingly harmless questions. Eat, pay, and be on your way. <laughs> Could go for a bite. Hi, head. What can I get you? It's more about what you can do for me. That's cool. All right. <laughs> Apparently, you can buy a chef's knife here. It's kind of cool, but nah, I'm good. Oh, Johnny disappeared. I thought I was going to have something to say.
He's a fan fan. Jesus. What's your problem? How you look is all that matters. With Angelique Cosmetic, you can be anyone and have it. Hey, you uh, got any laser pop? Hey, looking for some good tunes. Got any laser pop? Something for muskracks? Don't sell no scop here. You either want good music or rainbow bright shite. Chill, Jim. Just a joke. <laughs> laser pop. Fucking laser pop. Here. At my stand. Yeah, he's literally the 2020. He's like, yeah, man. <laughs> you want either good music or you want dog shit. <laughs> All right. I'm looking for some good tunes. Heard I can get some decent tunes here. What you mean by decent? We got Cartesian Duelist. Urdine stuff, tainted overlord. Any samurai? <laughs> Kid, you even gotta ask? Never fade away. Dancing with my axe, chipping in, you name it, we got it. Silverhand was the one true messiah of rock. I'd hand them records out like candy if I could. But a guy's gotta eat. Silverhand's biggest fan, eh? See, I found Silverhand's biggest fan. And proud of it. Today's bitty box rockers can't even touch him. Silverhand had something they couldn't even dream of. Uh, Silverhand? He had that fire, kid. Fire! Guy shook the foundations of the corporal world. He died for his ideals. Doesn't yeah. matter, he was also so kind of a terrorist. Him. Blaze way down the rebel path. When rap was good was when they were, you know, possibly dying for the music, you know what I mean? Like, it was more feuds and stuff, and now it's just so boring. I don't know if they ever fix it, but save files can get corrupted from too many items in the inventory. Oh, shit. Okay, I'll have to look at that. It's like dropping things. Look for some real samurai relics. Yeah, looking for the real deal. Like, say, bootlegs? From Samurai's first gigs? Fuck. First, you have got no idea what you're asking for. Not if you're so, so chilled about it. Don't know how you found out about them bootlegs, but forget it. Not gonna give them to the first gunk off the street. I know what they say about Johnny at Arisaka. I remember the gigs at Invoke Danger. I know it, Johnny's last words to carry with. Hey, you a poser. Know everything there is to know about Silverhand. Go on. Impress me. Know what he told Carrie the last time they met. Fuck this band. Not your crowd, not your noise. Do your own thing. Yeah, sure. I could think up a million conversations they had. There were no witnesses. Do I know you? It's like, I kind of want Johnny to be right here and be like, this guy's an asshole. Right, I want to try both of these. Would the first gonk off the street know what they tell new Arasaka suits? They say, if a collar in training doesn't make deadline, the ghost of a man split in two will get him. Of course, nobody remembers the ghost is Johnny. All right. I'm impressed getting someone from Saka to tell you that. You're not joking. You're really a Silverhand fan. No chipping in since I was a kid. Johnny's always with me. He's with me every step I take, every move I make. Johnny's like my conscience, my eternal. eternal Wait for him progress. to pop up. <laughs> Well said, kid. Getting a little misty-eyed. You're all right. Hey, anyways, gotta educate the youth. Maybe you'll find something special under the table. Gone. Have at it. Okay. I want to hear what the other stuff was real quick. Because I am curious what the uh, non-corpo version of that is. Okay, includes crafting materials. All right, we're gonna have to dump a lot of stuff then. 
That could actually be it, because I have started breaking down things and a lot of it. And there was also a couple times where I just straight bought a bunch of stuff. Oh, wait, that was the wrong one. That's wrong. I remember the rainbow. Ah, I used to come here back when it was still Rainbow Cadenza. Bootleg sure would make a nice souvenir of the good old days. Cut the scop. You're too young to remember the first samurai gigs. Weren't even a twinkle near daddy's Kuroshis. <laughs> hey, appearances can be deceiving. How do you know this pretty face ain't an implant? All right, punk. Prove it. How'd Samurai's third ever gig end? A little, a little help, Johnny. A little help here, Johnny. Johnny, my dear expert, help a chew out. Need a quick rundown of samurai trivia. Yep, third gig. Remember it like it was yesterday. Set my axe on fire, then smashed it on the stage. Crowd went wild. Well, can't wait all day. <sighs> Easy. Johnny lit up his axe, then smashed it. Nope. Knew it. Who smashes their gear when they're just starting out? I mean, a new one costs eddies. Fucking hell, Johnny. Why the sabotage? Why now? Because it's funny. Because I'm bored. Maybe I don't like the cut of your conformist chin. You always freeze up like this? Played our third gig at Cadenza. Little fire broke out. Some drunk gonks tried to put it out with beer. Denny's fro got singed, wore a wig for a few weeks, never did get herself any tech hair. Poor Denny. Hang on. Now I remember. Uh, uh, there was uh, fire. Oh, poor Denny. Only corrupt poor Denny's save, hair. Uh, that's worse. <laughs> I'd rather it crash, not, not corrupt, and it kept saying Her corrupt. Johnny started so it, we'll see. Tossed a cig that was still glowing. <laughs> Bullshit. That cig was Carrie's, no doubt. But <laughs> hey, any troubles, Johnny's fault. Still don't believe you were there. But what the hell? Only a real fan could know something like that. Hey, anyways, gotta educate the youth. Maybe you'll find something special I under the table. The Gone. Have at it. Now for the real one. <laughs> as much as I liked having Johnny's help. I just wanted to hear what the other options were. You always love gatekeepers, let me tell you. Uh, last I played, they had a small patch that let you carry more because it corrupts. Or carry more before it corrupts, but it wasn't fully fixed. Would the first gonk off the street know what they tell? They say. All right, I'm impressed. Getting someone from Saka to. You're not joking. Uh, known chipping in since I was a kid. When the other kids were learning chrome crayons. I already had chipping in down by heart. <laughs> well said, kid. Getting a little misty-eyed. You're all right. Hey. Anyways, yeah, exactly. Gotta educate Name nine the youth. Songs. Maybe you'll find something special under the table. Gone. Have at it. I mean, 15 songs in three, uh, what do you call it? Three places they played. <laughs> right now. Oh, you could buy a Samurai t shirt. Sapporo, Katowice, Berlin, Oslo, Leningrad. What, you thought only they only played NUSA or NUSA? This one's new USA. Thirty stitch cargo, second flight. Go. All right, samurai concert recording. Much appreciated. Take it. 
Spread the good silver hand word. Death to Corpos. You know, they say time is the best teacher. Used to think that was true. But look at that guy. 60 at least, but still living in 2020. Guy's your biggest fan. Not happy to meet him? Busaka Tower to smithereens, and it's still standing there. Just the same. Don't want people getting stuck in a rut, stuck in the past. Want them to change. Them and the world. I'm like halfway down on my water. Can't to change people by blowing them up. Uh, something. So ready? In Sixty years. Something must have changed. Know what changed? The damn facade. Fresh interface plugs, new high fructose scop syrup, and fun fruity flavors. A new face of Arasaka, same old shit, different packaging. True. Something's changing. Maybe we can't see it, but there's change all the same. Sure. Now almost nobody remembers when a person wasn't just a meat bag full of secondhand implants. <sighs> Well, I wonder where he's got, he got cigarettes from, but also, you know, I just want to be Johnny's friend by the end of all of this. Glad you could clear your schedule. Where's all this stuff come from? Trade secret. Gonna get anything? Cause otherwise you just taking off space. Mind if I just peruse? If you're not gonna buy anything, yes. Like, I found a fuckload of knives in that box. It's like, they gave me one of everything, melee-wise. Alright. Oh, dropped it. But yeah, he is a classic gatekeeper. In a way, I dig seeing in video games, not real life. In real life, I'd want to punch him in the face. Like, <laughs> wouldn't actually do it, but you know, there'd be that, like, ooh, he needs a bully. <laughs> Just kidding. I hate bullies. just auto scrap certain things like you can set it to like auto scrap blues that aren't iconic you know and then everything below it gets auto scrapped too I should say. New and excited. Boom. Thirty-nine, so like three levels from now. fast.
glad you could see how you sketch it. Man, I wish I could go to a place like this. Like, the food looks good. But, uh, this game makes me hungry. It's like when I watch Food Wars. I don't know if I've ever explained when I watch Food Wars. I used to watch with uh, Red back in, what, 2018? I would, we would watch Food Wars, and the tradition was when you watch Food Wars, there must be food present because it makes you hungry. Like, the food looks so damn good in that show. And so what we would do is we'd order um, some udon with chicken. And uh, it's from a place called, uh, fuck, what's it called? Bento Box? There's like the little dragon symbol in Orlando. And we would get it delivered to us and uh, like extra meat and stuff like that. They were usually pretty cool about that. And um, yeah, we would... We'd eat that while we watched the show. That was like the tradition for like months, if not like a year. Uh, we'd watch an episode, eat, and then uh, watch something else. Because like almost the entire time, I just kept us entertained with some new anime. Anime, anime. Sometimes I'd watch movies, you know, and pause it when he'd leave, like to go do the run. Then I'd just stay there and watch something else. All right, eat the brat. Eat the brat. All right, so we have, like, not very many gigs left. Yeah, it looks like those three are the last ones for him. Eight out of eight. Nine out of nine. Ten out of eleven, so there's one more for him. Probably happen after I beat the brat. Maybe. I don't know. I haven't quite figured out how this stuff works. That was the wrong button. Oh, I tried. Call yourself Bendeja. You call him Bendeja. Call me a bitch? Hey, your fucking car. Ayúdame! Huh. I don't think I killed her. Show me. Ah! His superior reached out saying they were offering for a You know, this truck's kind of tough. <laughs> she might not be good at turning or doing anything useful. And she doesn't accelerate super good. At least she's tough. probably can't but can I break down meds and stuff I can only use like there's all these oh I can just some of them which are the ones I'm using max docs green max docs Yeah, there's the grenades I got. Yeah, we already got that. Right. 
They're sticky though, but it's just stupid that they do almost the same amount of damage as this thing. Oh, it is the same amount. Boo! Boo words. to worry about a thing. Leave me one drink. Oh, I should do something about all these. Eh, this ain't that bad. The rippers I've gone to, I forgot to check their inventory of stuff that you can actually buy that's not just cyber. But hopefully that should help. That should help us. Oh god, when you're drunk she starts doing things. I thought she was swerving on her own, like in some games they have you do that. I think she drives better drunk. Like, I'm starting to notice, like, this is way easier. Why not? Curious how you're gonna be able to worm your way out of this one. You gonna tell me you didn't see that girl? So down! What do you mean? What girl? The one whose blood was all over your limo? Oh, that! Whew! <laughs> I thought one of my competitors sent you. Look, this is all some gonk misunderstanding. I'm insured for accidents. Compensation's already been paid out. Case closed. And as for this job of yours, I'm sure we can come to some kind of professional understanding. 30 seconds. Change my mind. Someone paid you to take me out, right? Her mom, dad, fiance, whoever. I don't know how much they promised you, but I'm certain my safe has more. A lot more. You let me go, 
Everything in there is yours. And I'll transfer somewhere else in the city. Nobody, your fixer included, will have to know. It's a win-win. Let me see if I can kill her after doing it. Fine. After unlocks. But you better keep your word, else I'll have you and my iron come to an understanding. Hey! You don't have to tell me. Good night. Doubled my money, probably. All right, archive conversation. My name is Marlon Puccino. You don't know me. People like you and me don't often cross paths. You work on top floor of a skyscraper while I pick up trash on the curb, 100 floors down. But for those rare exceptions where we do it usually ends in tragedy. Two weeks ago, you hit a young woman with your car. The hour was late, it was dark, no one saw a thing. If you had stopped and called for an ambulance, she might uh, still be alive, but I guess you had an important meeting over cocktails to get to. That girl bled out on the sidewalk. Her name was Rosita, and she was my daughter. You made me bury her. Ever since she was born, I set aside every spare any I, I could for her, her education. But that money won't go to waste. It's all going to a cause. The hired killer is going to blow a hole through your arrogant brain. I like that. Marlon uh, Fushino. Dear Miss Albach, I regret to inform you that we will not be able to complete the cabinets you ordered on schedule. Our varnisher was shot yesterday and is in the hospital. It'll take at least a week for him to re return to work. I hope this does not inconvenience you greatly. Once again, my serious apologies, Wayne Molinsky. Next steps, Tucker. You're going to see a letter from HR tomorrow with the smorgasbord of masturbatory <laughs> corpo speak. You know me, I don't go in for all that bullshit. So I'll just lay it on you straight. I'm kicking you off the board. You'll be demoted to an expert manager. You'll lose access to your security plan, trauma team platinum, company apartment, and so on and so forth. Damn, you get fired from a job, you lose literally everything. If this sounds like punishment, good. That's the idea. Maybe you'll learn something. This isn't about that girl. Obviously, fuck her. It's because you were a fucking gonk. Driving alone, drunk, with important documents in the trunk. This could have ended badly for the company. Very badly. I should fire you. Fuck it. Make you disappear, even. I mean, if I didn't know better, I'd say you had a death wish. But I've decided to give you a second chance. Get your shit together and don't make me regret this. Jacob Lamb, CEO, Kuroshi Optics. Oh, so she worked for Kuroshi. But also, her trauma team has been canceled, so I don't have to expect trauma team to come and kick my face in in a second. Thank you. Hey, Tucker. I just wanted to thank you because of your little fuck up. You're looking at the board's newest director. Funny how things work out, huh? Eight years you fucked with me, sabotaged me made me eat shit and now you give me a promotion on a silver platter I can't thank you enough really I'll raise a glass to you at the end of the board session Hunter McPherson police notified I pass your letter on to the police I hope they teach you a lesson Stefan Hirsch assistant office of Tucker Albeck dear Miss Albeck regarding your question no, in the event of an attack on your property, no additional reinforcements will be dispatched. Your insurance, unfortunately, does not cover immediate response services, which are exclusively limited to members of the board. If you would like to discuss upgrading your security plan, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Best regards, Asif Mohammadi. A Securo Limited. Let's see what this 
I kind of like the swords over the fists. Like, I love fists. I love fist fighting people in video games and all the stuff where you, like, punch someone so hard they fly. That's great. But the sword is freaking interesting. Makes me feel like a monster. Now we can loot on our way out. I'm glad they let me kill her, like, in the end. So I got access to the uh, safe and was able to murder her. Ooh. You sin leather fleece, of course. <laughs> when you say use, judging on this room, I'm guessing, you know, someone came on her feet. Steps, thank you. Please notify. Yep. Alright, so it's all the same stuff. Man, imagine being a whole team of Militech dudes just getting taken down by one girl. It's a little bit speedy. Like one woman with speedy upgrades and a sword. <laughs> Pathetic. Uh, I hope she didn't have kids. Well, they'll be fine. Probably. Schedule. 9 a.m. Perimeter check. Scan room for listening devices. Briefing on subnet audit. Check car and scan for listening devices, etc. Alarm system tests. Break. Perimeter check. Watch cam feeds from yesterday. Technical perimeter check. Hydraulic systems. Wiring mainframe. 6 p.m. Break. 8 p.m. Patrol. 4 p. 4 a.m. Break. That's a long shift. Unless that's for everybody. I'm just gonna say, it looks like she didn't need all this house. I've been noticing ever since that last update to the game though, it's a little bit brighter. Like, I haven't been running into like, a super bunch of dark rooms. I didn't realize I left you alive, sir. Go to the floor. So it's a little less obvious. And the spirit of the Lord came upon him, and he went down to Ashkelon and slew thirty men. <laughs> Plus Tucker Albach. Well played, V. Bloody but efficient. Closing the contract. Well, you said you wanted her rushed to God's side as soon as possible. I hope that's what you meant. <laughs> God can have all the forgiveness that I don't have. Damn, you can flip this thing? Looks like it almost wants to, you. and then it just knows it. Why that one spot was it so ready to flip? Let me see if I can do that. Okay. 
Okay, that kind of works. <laughs> Oh, crap. <sighs> I think it's that one. <sighs> okay, so was the black one? Estás diciendo, me hablas a mí? Blocking his legs, but somehow it looks like it's actually kind of effective. Oh God! Like, why can't we do merc shit like this in real life? <laughs> Let everybody be a contracted punisher. I feel like it's a good time. Tim. 
Chum's name is Jude Knight, right? Yeah. And what are we supposed to do with him? Beat him up. No. I'd like a more permanent solution. Got it. Wants to steal my roll. My roll? Okay. Don't worry about them. His career's over. Ha. Wouldn't call what that talent's hack had a career. Jude Knight is an overrated honey-baked ham of an actor. Okay. Tim, just one more question. Yeah? Would you sign my Bushido 10 poster? Sure, no problem. Thanks, Chum. My kid loves you. We'll give you a discount on that night guy. Nah, don't need a discount. I got the Eddies. Whatever you say, Chum. Aw, oh, they're just trying to earn an honest buck, and here I came and beat them all to shit. But with the sword. <laughs> Some nomads tried to run some biz in my district, so the Tinos taught them a lesson, a painful one. The nomads came to me, better late than never. You let them straighten things out, hmm? Speck attached. Yeah, let's see what this one's about. Am I supposed to kill everybody, or what are we doing? Uh, search and recover. Retrieve Noltec car purchased by nomads. Russian Russells, a group of nomads decided to run some side biz in Night City and bought a stolen Militech SUV. Hmm, for the Tito's. Uh, this happened on my turf, but unfortunately they forgot to ask me for help because they didn't want to cut in a fixer. The Valentinos took the Eddies, slammed their heads against the pavement, and told them to fuck off. Nomads just want to get what they paid for the right way this time through a fixer their rep Dakota called me and I promised her I would the SUV ended up being in uh, Valentino's garage in Wells Springs need to get it back uh, getting back at the Valentino's isn't part of the gig you let me handle it okay so I don't need to kill him okay kind of sad so being a loot goblin that I am it means I can't be a loot goblin chill to just run around slow punching people with like one two <laughs> give them a couple jabs i kind of wish you could do some real combos though like the combos in this game is literally just this all day just right left right left right left right left maybe throwing a haymaker now and again or a hook yeah those are hooks 
Sometimes it looks like a haymaker though when I come around and stuff. Alright, anyways. Well, I like how fashion is in this quest. That big truck after me? Oh fuck, I forgot which one was which for a second there. I thought that big truck was chasing me. I'm like, vehicle combat? Nice. <laughs> The rig. Fucking love that Corporal Sheik. Wait, seriously? <laughs> Who guards the border? Well, Militech. Now connect the dots. Yeah, that means you'll be able to get through. Makes sense. Lucky you're alive. The hell were you thinking? Solo making an exchange with the Valentinos? I wasn't alone. Well, what happened? The motherfucker set a trap. That's what happened. Fucking Tinos. And this surprises you? Man, whatever. I'm out of here. Worst trip to the city ever. Cry, baby. Oh, I thought he was going to drive, and I was like, yay, take me away. <laughs> All right, to its next. Beat up the Brit. Nine out of 11. We're at nothing new over there. Sublime work, V. I knew I could count on you. The nomads are grateful for your help. Contract closed. <laughs> truck is really bouncy. Like if it hits something, it's more likely to just fly. I feel like these cars are from that uh, movie Death Loop. B. Got a guy I need gone. Used to be iron for hire. Still acts like it. But the eddies are worth the risk, trust me. Need more intel? Check the attachment. Waiting on your sick. Thanks. Alright, easy crush. Easy clap. Whoa! 
Think fleas like you just get in for free? Why does everyone always ask me this crap? Got any VIP You got room? VIP rooms here? You know, for private shindigs? Hmm. Reserved for the boss and co. Think he could use a little more company? Hmm? Don't try to play me. Either I see Eddie's nice. or your ass is walking. Alright. Just chill, alright? Here. Sweet Jesus. You hear that? Do you hear what they're playing? Each to their own, Johnny. That's what peeps with bad taste always oh, yeah. say. Don't know what he did to deserve what's coming, but his music taste is reason enough to drop it. I'm in a gang. <laughs> sure you are, buddy. Something that scared. Ah! Told you we should have gone to the afterlife. Okay, if we go there, will you promise to quit pissing in my fucking ear? That's fun. Gives you stuff to pee on that glows. There you go. Get away! Are you guarding it? Oh. Ain't no one in there. Guarantee he's in there, so we'll mark this guy real quick. Fuck you going. VIP areas for VIPs. That's fine. I'm not trying to go there. I'm still looking around. Uh, hey, how's it going? Hey, good. Music in here is god awful. Yeah, I like it. The beat keeps me awake. What have you got that's good? See for yourself. So we might be able to do the talk to manager thing in a sec. Nothing worth it. <laughs> the silent dancing is the weirdest part. I deserve that. Yeah, let me try this first. No, the boss, we're tight. Boss knows a lot of peeps. Sure as shit ain't tight with a single one. Yeah, but... But, 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 but... Boss said to let nobody in once in alone time. So cut the act. Turn around or shit gets ugly. You can grow 
one back. What the fuck? I'll give, give you my stomach, but you can't have my face. Alright, so now I know I can do something. Like that. Boss inside. Yeah, why? Wanna have a word. Yeah, and I wanna snort lines off of Lizzy Weezy's wreck. Let's try the Karen method that I was trying to avoid. Wanna have a word with your boss? Ian? Oh, you're out of luck. He doesn't really like to talk. I don't care if he likes to talk. I asked you if he was here. Uh, sure, he's upstairs in the VIP room. Just don't expect a friendly welcome. I have a contender. Sometimes. <laughs> Shit feels fucking good. Man, I want to be able to do dumb shit, but it's not letting me know it. Just for science. Can't shoot through that glass. Non existent glass. Alright. Feeling ribs. She might be the easiest one then. None of them are in like a good place for that sort of thing, and I don't have to strap. Long time no see. Yeah, you know how he goes. There. God, 
Is there even a way in without uh, causing some bullshit to happen? You're deaf, yet you are fucking lost. It's not letting me do the non lethal jump takedown thing. That sucks. Let's see if I can do it for this guy. I guess I'm not considered in combat or something. I don't really know. As far as I'm concerned, he didn't get a chance to even say anything, so we should be good. Okay, now I know there's a camera over there that I didn't see. Oh, oh miss. Did you really get knocked out from one punch? Oh. Squeeze the big strike! See what you got. Right. Okay, wrecked. <laughs> Fucking two cap there. Maybe lay off the juice. It's making you weak and pathetic. Okay, so save the list camera. That I didn't even know was there. Let's try that again. Let's. All right, so I need to immediately start beating his ass. Just hit him with like a boop, 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 and he should be done. I think. That's what it's feeling like. That's it, that's it. Ah. Fuck your leg up. Alright, I was able to silently do this earlier, like, somewhat. So, can't be bad. This ain't good. Just straight beating all their asses so easily. <laughs> not be that easy to beat up these bulked out people like they're fucking roided out of their minds and then cyber enhanced on top of it i'm just sitting here like boop boop you're done <laughs> like who gets taken out by a two-piece uh 
Uh, let's try just three. Pretty sure it was the third hit that knocked him out. Just started beating his junk. Yeah, it was the fourth that killed him that I think caused the combat. <sighs> oh, I forgot to activate the damn thing. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. We got this. We can do this with with the optional. Alright, fuck it. You know, at this point... Okay. <laughs> I gotta have a way. There's gotta be a way to do this quietly. And not just the dumbest way possible. I also kind of want to talk to him because I feel like there's going to be a bit of him being high laying there, but also maybe he'll talk to me. You're deaf. Get your ass fucking lost. <laughs> we will take up. How does that activate combat for everybody? Come on. <laughs> Why is this so hard? I suppose if I eliminate every other guard, there'll be no one left to know. Let's see what happens, folks. I do have all these extra attachments in my inventory. I wonder if I can build up a sniper rifle or something and just fucking pop them at a distance. Let's see. I might just have to go through it, like, honestly, at this point. I was wondering, I was like, what do you mean destroy it? All right. Long time no see. Yeah. What if I try her? Oh, 
Huh. I feel like that shouldn't have worked for you, did it? Cut our convo short. Oh, I get it. Got a bounty on my head, have I? Who hired you? Militech? Asukaga? Or was it that wank, Athena? Oh, you are the guy. Who's this guy? <laughs> like it even matters. Found out myself when I yanked that memory. Sit down, Jack. I'm extending a fucking courtesy here. The fact that you're still alive means I'm open to parley. <laughs> parley, fool, go fuck yourself. Chit chats for assholes. So let's get it over and done with. You versus me. Come on! Say you win. Say you put me out of commission. You think your problems will just vanish into thin air? You crawled under a lot of people's skin. Said so yourself. Militech, Asukaga, Dino. They won't stop till your head falls at their feet. So what? I'm supposed to blow my fucking brains out? Oh, good idea. You'd be saving me lead. Very fucking funny. I'll have you begging for mercy! Uh. <laughs> oh my god, this guy. I'll have you begging for mercy. <laughs> <laughs> fucking deck someone so hard. He had a fucking hard reset. His whole brain was just restarting. Oh god, it's been a while since I've hit someone that freaking hard. Alright, avoid the combat. Well. Avoid entering combat inside the club. What the? Who the That's fuck are you? There. How'd you get in here? Quiet down, or I'll have to cut our convo short. I get it. Got a bounty on my head, have I? Who hired you? Militech? Asukaga? Or was it that wanker, Dino? <laughs> like it even matters. Found out myself when I yanked that memory shot. Come on. I'd like to see you try. What the hell was that? Cut our convo short. Oh, I get it. Got a bounty on my head, have I? Who hired you? Militech? Asukaga? Or was it that wanker, Dino? <laughs> like it even. Sit down, Jack. I'm extending a fucking courtesy here. The fact that you're still alive means I'm open to parley. <laughs> parley, vous, go fuck yourself. Chit chats for assholes. So let's get it over and done with. You versus me. Come on. Say you win. Say you put me out of commission. You think your problems will... You crawled under a... So what? I'm sp... Leave Night no. City. All you have to do is leave Night City. I'll tell him you took lead between the eyes and none will be the wiser. You can start over. A brand new life. Yeah? Start with what? Everything I got's here. My club. The Odyssey. Say what thy birth. And what the name you bore. Imposed by parents in the na natal hour. For from the natal hour, distinctive names, one common right, the great and lowly claims. Say from what city, from what regions tossed, and what inhabitants those regions boast. So shalt thou, thou uh, instant reach the realm assigned. In wondrous ships self-moved, instinct with mind. No helm secures their course, no pilot guides. 
like man intelligence or sorry intelligent they plow the tides conscious of every coast and every bay that lies beneath the sun's all-seeing ray though clouds in darkness veil the encumbered sky fearless through darkness and through clouds they fly though tempests rage though rolls the swelling main the seas may roll the tempests rage in vain e'en the stern god the o'er this the waves presides safe as they pass and safe repass the tides with fury burns while careless uh, they convey promiscuous every guest to every bay these ears have heard my royal sire disclose a dreadful story with future woes how neptune raged and how by his command firm rooted in surge a ship would stand a monument of wrath how mound on mound should bury the bury these uh, proud towers beneath the ground but this the gods may frustrate or fulfill as suits the purpose of eternal will but say through what waste regions hast thou strayed what customs noted and what costs sorry coasts surveyed possessed by wild barbarians fierce in arms are men whose bosom tender pity warms say why the fate of troy awaken thy cares why heave thy bosom and why flowed thy tears homer i like the elite in honesty. staff Good my time. girls and everyone who wants you dead this isn't a multiple fucking choice you're living on borrowed time shit mother fucking bleeding cunt asshole was that a yes or a no just piss off and tell him the job's done. Oh, I was still saying avoid the combat. Oh, I avoided the combat because of it. <laughs> Oh, what a winner I am. <laughs> I'm so smart. <laughs> Conversation between Jack and Wilson. Wilson, it's been a while. There's this thing. I got a little too excited on my last gig and pissed off a bunch of peeps. <sighs> I heard. Need some heavy gear in case someone gets gonk idea. If you catch my drift. Got a Mark 31 and a Sora 22 lying around. Uh, if you do, then I'll take it. Don't care if it's used, just make sure it does what it's supposed to do. I'm good for it, so you know, I want to be 100% sure. Okay. Check. Didn't really have to knock out that guy, but you know, didn't hurt either. Oh, wait, where is this door? Oh, yeah, and the gigs. I forgot to do that. gig seeking you should find they say sometimes when you aren't even looking the work finds you there's this thing gustavo orta runs with tinos i've got a client who wants him gone can you help padre sorry padrino baby i'll pass this time i'm not looking to step on uh tino's toes jack stuff my oh my, Jackie boy, you really outdone yourself this time. I spy with my little eye a delicious bounty on your head. 
And a lot of gonks who like a taste of it. I know, I know. The cooldown's tough. So let me spare you the endless wait with a little present. Take one puff. Um, one puff a day goes by. Two puffs a whole week. It's like pressing the fast forward button, except more fun. Don't worry about the money. You could pay me back when the dust settles. I have a few specimens I'd like to introduce you to, if you catch my drift. Get some rest, my dearest chum, and we'll play later. Ian. Hey Mikey, listen. I've got this company, Sound Pound, breathing down my neck. They sold me these shitty subwoofers that shake worse than a box spring bed in a Watson Joy house. Now the fuckers are saying I didn't pay and are threatening to hire a collector. Could you pay a visit to their office and kindly tell them to suck each other's balls? Normally I do it myself, but I gotta lay low for a while. Oh, and by the way, this stays between us. Nobody finds out we're talking. Especially Dino. Don't trust the gunks the gonk anymore. Let me know if you're up for it. I'll make it worth your while. Really sorry, Jack, but another job just came through. The kind that can't wait. Got to pass this time. Good luck. Uh, and I hope you find someone to show them what's what. Damn. Oh, Tiny Mike. I like Tiny Mike. Right, let's grab the body and let's get rolling. I like that they all sound super fucked up. That shouldn't have worked, but it did. Oh my god. I'm so awesome. Start trouble. Say dicks hard. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh, 
owner. I'm sure you already know the club has a new owner, specifically me. So what do you need to know? Got high expectations, zero patience for those that don't follow through. You either give your all or you can fuck right off, understood? There there will have to be uh, changes so this club can start making bank for starters. Sick leave ends now. You feel shitty? Your problem, not mine. the brain damage. Alright, um... Smoke breaks are out. Wanna smoke? Do it at home. No private calls during work hours. Lunch time is between 12 and 12.30. Need more time? Stop eating so much. Tips go into the communal pot. I decide who gets how much. Got any questions, doubts, suggestions? Great, stuff them up yours, Jack. Invoice. Once again, I am requesting payment for the invoice boom boom speakers. The final deadline for the payments of the above item is the last day of the current month. If no payment is received, we will all be forced to put your debt into the hands of an armed collector uh, through the Extract Exact program. Respectfully, Roger McCann, McMahon, uh, Sound Pound Inc. Customer Service. I thought I had access to this stuff now. Yeah. Room I guess I'll never be able to enter. That sucks. Alright. That everyone died like Family Guy dudes. Say one good thing about this truck doesn't care about traffic, just runs it over. <laughs> Right there, I'll take the death. 
<sighs> I don't like that shit. <laughs> it's just like... We know where you are through walls and can shoot through them a lot of times. Ooh. <laughs> Sucks. gonna save right here. Didn't mean to do that. That's so bullshit. Let me do this one. There we go. <laughs> Fixed it. Moron. Anyways, I hope everyone had fun. I know I did. Let's get to some dad advice. All right, dad advice for today. Thank you all for all the, thank you for all the hard work you put in every day. I know living ain't easy, but you're making it through each day, and that makes me so proud of you. And for today's nonsense. In case of a zombie apocalypse, all you gotta do is toss babies for distractions. Like, duh. Alright, but that is gonna be it for me today. Have a wonderful evening. It's been Beard. <laughs>